Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your friendly neighborhood critic back with another piping hot take on the royal soap opera that just keeps on giving. So gather around all you royal watchers and drama lovers because boy oh boy do I have a juicy story for you today. We're talking about the latest chapter in the saga of Prince Harry, the Duke of Dysfunction himself, and how he's managed to burn his last bridge with the royal family. That's right folks, it's all over, finito, kaput. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now let's set the scene, shall we? Picture this, Harry sitting in his Montecito mansion, probably sipping on some overpriced green juice, thinking to himself, you know what the world needs, another book about how tough my life is. I mean, because one tell-all memoir wasn't enough, right? The man's got more tea to spill than the Boston Harbor. But here's where it gets really juicy. Our boy Harry, in a rare moment of self-awareness, suddenly realizes that maybe airing even more dirty royal laundry might not be the best idea. But I'm sitting here thinking, honey, I hate to break it to you, but that ship has sailed, hit an iceberg, and sunk faster than the Titanic. I mean, let's be real for a second. After Spare, which by the way, should have been titled Spare Us the Details, what could Harry possibly have left to say? Did he forget to mention the time William stole his favorite crayon in kindergarten? Or maybe there's a juicy story about Charles forgetting to cut the crusts off his PB&J? The suspense is killing me. But here's the kicker, folks. Harry claims he's got enough material for a whole second book. A whole book? It's like he's sitting on the royal family's version of the Pentagon Papers or something. But he's holding back because he's worried about upsetting the royals even more. I'm sorry, but I've gotta ask, where was this concern when he was spilling the tea faster than a clumsy waiter at high tea? Now, let's talk about this so-called hard bit of taking things out of the book. Harry says there are still some things that have happened, especially between him and William and to some extent with Charles, that he doesn't want the world to know. What well, color me surprised? After telling us about everything from his frostbitten todger to his mushroom-induced hallucinations, I didn't think there was anything left that Harry considered too personal to share. But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. Despite Harry's sudden attack of conscience, it seems the damage has already been done. William, our future king, is apparently giving Harry the cold shoulder to end all cold shoulders. We're talking arctic levels of frostiness here. According to royal author Tom Quinn, William is acting like Harry no longer exists. The silence is so deafening, you could hear a corgi's toenail drop in Buckingham Palace. And King Charles? Well, he's apparently wary of meeting Harry. Can you blame him? I mean, Every time these two get together, it's like watching a car crash in slow motion. You know it's going to be a disaster, but you just can't look away. But let's take a step back for a second and really think about what's happening here. Harry, the guy who spent the last few years trashing his family to anyone who will listen, is suddenly worried about forgiveness. It's like watching a bull in a china shop suddenly start fretting about feng shui. Too little, too late, my friend. And here we talk about the absolute irony of Harry worrying about forgiveness while simultaneously holding on to enough dirt for another book. It's like he's standing there with a loaded gun saying, don't worry, I won't shoot. Probably. Real reassuring Harry, I'm sure William and Charles are sleeping easy knowing that their dirty laundry is safe in your hands. For now. But here's the real tragedy in all this. The complete and utter breakdown of a family. Remember when Harry and William were the dynamic duo? The charming princes who could do no wrong. Now look at them. William's acting like Harry's been erased from the family photo album, and Harry's sitting in California, desperately clinging to his last shred of relevance. And poor King Charles? The man's barely had time to warm up the throne. He's already dealing with more family drama than a season of keeping up with the Kardashians. He's got one son who won't speak to him, another son who won't shut up about him, and a crown that's probably feeling heavier by the day. But you know what the saddest part is? This all could have been avoided if Harry had just, I don't know, maybe talked to his family instead of the entire world. If he'd chosen reconciliation over revenge, if he'd realized that maybe 
Just maybe, airing your family's dirty laundry for profit isn't the best way to solve your problems. But no, instead we've got this mess. A family torn apart, relationships seemingly beyond repair, and a prince who suddenly realized that actions have consequences. Who would have thought, right? And let's not forget about the real victims in all this. Us, the public. I mean, how many more tell-all books, explosive interviews, and Netflix documentaries can we take? I'm starting to feel like I know more about the inner workings of the royal family than I do about my own. But here's the thing, folks. As much as we love to gossip and speculate, as much as we enjoy the drama and the scandals, we've got to remember that these are real people we're talking about. Real relationships being torn apart. Real wounds being opened and reopened. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we should feel sorry for them. They're still fabulously wealthy, impossibly privileged people. But there's something undeniably tragic about watching a family fall apart in the public eye. And for what? Book sales? Netflix deals? A chance to tell their truth? Was it worth it, Harry? Was it worth losing your brother, alienating your father, and potentially burning your last bridge back to the life you once knew? Because make no mistake, folks, this latest development feels like the final nail in the coffin of Harry's relationship with the royal family. William's silence, Charles's weariness, these aren't the actions of people ready to forgive and forget. These are the actions of people who have been hurt one too many times, who've decided that enough is enough. And can you blame them? I mean, put yourself in their shoes for a second. Imagine your brother, your son, sharing your most private moments, your most vulnerable conversations with the entire world. Imagine watching your family's dirty laundry being aired on international television, in best-selling books, in headline after headline. At some point, you've got to protect yourself. And that's exactly what William and Charles seem to be doing. They're drawing a line in the sand, setting boundaries and saying no more. But here's the real question. What happens next? Harry's burned his bridges, alienated his family, and seems to be running out of stories to tell. What's left for the spare when he used up all his spare change? Will he and Meghan continue their crusade against the monarchy from their Californian compound? Will they fade into obscurity, just another pair of ex-royals living off their past glory? Or will Harry wake up one day and realize what he's lost? Because here's the thing, folks. Once those bridges are burned, they are not easily rebuilt. Trust once broken is incredibly hard to repair. And forgiveness, well, that's a two-way street. And right now, it seems like Harry is the only one trying to navigate it. So where does this leave us? With a royal family more fractured than ever, a prince who suddenly realized the consequences of his actions, and a whole lot of unanswered questions. Will Harry ever reconcile with his family? Will William ever break his silence? Will Charles ever feel comfortable meeting his younger son again? And perhaps most importantly, will we ever get through a new cycle without some new royal drama? Only time will tell folks, but one thing is for sure, the royal saga is far from over. The bridges may be burned, the ties may be cut, but something tells me we haven't heard the last from Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. The man who gave up everything for, well, we're still not quite sure what. So, what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.